Unless you've uh, been under a rock, I guess you know that uh, Newark has a certain affinity with one Edgar Allan Poe. Uh, it's not uh, hard to miss that. And a lot has been said about Poe recently, uh, and uh, I'm going to say some more about Poe. Um, and I'll even say more after I read this particular poem. This is my own little ode to Edgar Allan Poe. I want to say first, though, that uh, Poe had a friend by the name of Armistead Gordon. And I say that because this poem is addressed to uh, Armistead Gordon. Gordon was a friend of Poe. He was African American. Uh, quite likely, he was a manumitted slave from the Jefferson Estate, which is uh, where the University of Virginia is. Uh, and when Jefferson died about a year before Poe went there, uh, Jefferson manumitted all his slaves. And it's quite likely that uh, Gordon was uh, one of those. Uh, manumitted slaves. He was a uh, fairly well educated, um, uh, educated enough to become a, a friend of the ground coats. Uh, so much so that he probably inspired the title of um, Poe's only novel, the narrative of Arthur Gordon. Pitt. Uh, so having known that, uh, I'll read this ode to uh, Edgar Allan Poe. It's uh, called Poe Speaks for the, From the Grave. It's for Armistead Gordon. And it opens with a few lines from Poe. These are the lines. It sort of sets up the poem. I heed not that my earthly lot hath little of earth in it that years of love have been forgot in the hatred of a minute. I mourn not that the desolate are happier sweet than I, but that you sorrow for my fate, who am the passerby. Here's my poem. Oh, speech from the grave, for Armistead Gordon. My dear Armistead, my dark and earful friend, I lie with demons now here in the end of my time in the earth that was not in me. For 150 years they have read my molten words, but do not see the truth of bloodless movement in the dead. I loved her faithfully and owed so many faces with delicate embellishments of my thought, but my passion running blood has wrought only substance of the earth that races to my head, substance of the dead that moves we men to search the demon's door and other such nightly lords. My truth handled the gold of access, my lip touched the finest bourbon gold could buy. I laced my tea with fragrant tinctures of laudanum and cannabis and this to bring her light into my eye from where she sat among the roses in the sky. The worms now writhe in me as I writhe in life upon the earth with only ugliness and torment to be consumed as work. The worms now writhe in me and now I see with rotted eyes how vain my eye cries of pain were to her ear for she could never hear the substance of that earthless sight. How right it was to stuff my mangled self up that stack, how fitting to lie chopped up and bleeding beneath the floor my watch still going, tick-tack, tick-tack. How good it was to get sucked down into a whirling pool, for I alone have become the solemn cosmic pool. I shall no more awaken in the flesh. My temple soul has been taken and to mesh with the kingdom of the worm. My end has been extended long, for I am paying for all the wrong that I engendered in my turn in flesh. I will not speak words like Baltimore, nor will they wash up from the sea. I know for many that I am near, yet so very far, but she is too very far from me. 
my dear Armistead, my dark and fearful friend, my blonde tressed Lenore has found her gruesome end and took away that gilded day, replaced it with the island sights of El Dorado, fading yet clung to vainly with Montellano. In this solemn place which I lie, where the bells have long go rung, every face has sung a haunts with them, and with that song did condemn my betrothal to the Virginia clan. Long ago has dried up all my gore. Long ago I cried to the silence the song of my immortal voice. Yeah, I didn't hear it. Long ago has cried of all my core. Long ago I cried in the silence the song of my lenore. The taste of burger and of rum as still with a swing of a Wow, that's <laughs> love. Right out of the grave. Here comes the last two stanzas. Oh, wash me in the golden waters of redemption. Take me up from the steep pit. Take me up, up, up from this dank smelling place and let me sit once more beside the face of young Lenore. Give me the cup of the Eucharist. Take me up, up, up through purple mist. Take me solemn, loathsome raven bird of yore. Unite me with my young Lenore. Float me high above the sky, blessed with favor in her eye. Let my blood quench demons. Let them be the passers by.